This is the Reno 4Z 5G disassembly. Let's go ahead and remove the SIM tray. Next, you need to use a heat gun or a hair dryer to heat up the back plate so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then you're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. So here's your plastic back plate. It's a very flimsy, thin back plate. You can almost fold it. There are 19 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once your screws are removed, you're going to put your plastic pry tool in between the housing of the phone and the frame of the screen. And then you're going to run it along the edges to pop the catches off. Once the housing is free from the frame, don't pull it completely off because there's a cable still attached underneath. So you're gonna have to lift it up and move it to the side like this. And then we're gonna disconnect the battery cable first. Now we can go ahead and disconnect the fingerprint reader cable. So here's the back housing and it is plastic. The NFC antenna is located over here, as well as a sheet of graphite film. On the inside, we can see multiple antenna flex cables around the housing and contacts for them as well. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect this cable, which leads to your charger port, as well as the subboard on the bottom. Here's a better look at that. Now let's disconnect this flex cable over here. Now we need to peel off this copper tape over here. And then we have two wire cables we need to disconnect. You have a black one over here, which runs along the side. And we have this white one over here. Just pop them up and off. Now we can disconnect the front facing cameras. And here's a better look at your front facing cameras. So back to the main board, we have one Phillips screw over here on the top, holding it down. And once that screw is removed, we can lift up and remove the main board. So taking a closer look at the main board, you have a secondary mic located over here on top. And if you needed to disconnect your cameras, all you'd have to do is pop up the connectors like so and disconnect them. You have an LED flash located over here and there's copper tape on top of these shields. Peeling the copper tape back reveals a thermal pad over here and here are those chips and resistors underneath. So taking a look at the back side, you do have a lot of thermal paste sitting on top of the copper tapes over here on the shields. So peeling that copper tape back reveals more thermal paste underneath on top of the memory and the thermal pad on top of the processor. Peeling back the other two copper tapes reveals some more thermal paste over here and another thermal pad over here. You also have your proximity sensor located over here and your SIM card reader over here. All right, now let's remove the speaker assembly. You have some graphite film on top. You have a black wire cable over here, which is connected to an antenna board on the bottom. Just pop that off. You have a white one over here, which is connected to the subboard. Now you can lift up and remove that subboard. You have your primary microphone located over here and your headphone jack is located over here. This flex cable over here with the two contact points on either side is what connects your speaker assembly to your subboard. You also have your vibrator motor located over here and that's just held on with adhesive and you have your earpiece speaker over here on top. Now you do have a pull tab over here which will help you pull up and pry off the battery. So here's a better look at your battery. Alright, so back to the mid frame. You have a flex cable over here, which leads to your volume keys 
on the side. You also have this flex cap over here for your screen, which is run underneath the battery. So if you ever have to replace the screen, you'd have to remove the back plate as well as the back housing. And then you'd have to disconnect the cable for your screen from the motherboard. You'd have to remove the battery so you'd have access to running the cable through the slit in the mid frame. And then you would heat up your screen from the front to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry your old screen off, get your new screen, apply new adhesive, reapply your new screen, and just put the phone back together. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble the phone. Once all your screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply your back plate. Flip over your phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.